So I've had a number of questions asking, how can I get better sleep? You know, how can I fall asleep faster, feel better in the morning and actually make it sort of healthy and not having to rely on you know, sleep aids, um, things like that. So this really comes down to, I would say, two main things. OK, and the first one, uh, but bear in mind, by the way, this is just my experience. This is my opinion. I'm not a you know registered doctor or anything like that. So this is just take it with a pinch of salt. This is my opinion based on things I've read, learned, experienced, whatever. So the first thing is what's known as your circadian rhythm. Now, this is the, the way that your body regulates its hormones um, in response to the day and night cycle of the world. So when the sun goes down, you will start to feel tired. When the sun comes up, you'll start to wake up. This is very basic stuff, right? But it's important to know how it works because, you know, in the Western world and in this modern day, we keep ourselves up artificially. We're the only mammals who willingly delay sleep. And by that, I mean, we're the only sort of mammals or species, really, who willingly keep ourselves awake beyond when we should go to sleep. So naturally, in the wild, we should go to sleep when the sun goes down, right? Sounds like common sense, but no one does. When the sun goes down, we turn the lights on and we artificially keep ourselves awake. And all the time that we have lights on, in, you know, above us or in, in the screen that we're watching on our phones, what that is, is that's actually shining mainly blue light okay so that obviously when, when you watch a screen like a tv or a phone there are many different pixels on on the screen and different types of light the most harmful light for your circadian rhythm is the blue light and that's because it simulates the sunrise and so every time you look at your phone and you've got that glaring light going into the back of your eye of, of your eyeball you simulate the sun and your body doesn't really know the difference okay so in your head in your body your body's thinking, okay, the sun's still up, maybe I should stay awake. And what that does is that produces an imbalance of hormones in your body. This is one of the main causes of insomnia, of almost any sleep disorder really, is just not being in tune with your circadian rhythm. And the more we artificially keep ourselves awake, the more we watch screens and glare at our phones while we're trying to go to sleep, okay? Every time you lay in, in bed and the light's off and you check your phone, you're sort of sending your sleep cycle back half an hour. So it's going to take you another half an hour or so to get back to the same stage you were at before you checked it. Okay, your body was just trying to, your body was probably just about to fall asleep. But then you check your phone and the blue light goes into your eyes. Your body thinks, okay, the sun's up. Let's start releasing those hormones, okay, which wake your body up and make you more alert. And it causes things like insomnia. You know, you can't get to sleep. Um, and it, it sounds like common sense, but this is the main reason that people can't fall asleep and the main reason people don't have the highest quality sleep is just because they don't regulate the light going into their eyes. You know, if the sun goes down, that's the time we should as humans be sleeping. But obviously that can't be the case. You know, we have jobs, we work till five, six in the evening, then we have dinner, then we might want to watch a film. That's fine. And I'm not saying that you should go to sleep at four when the sun goes down in the winter that wouldn't be solving anything, right? But what I am saying is that you should definitely have a morning routine and a nighttime routine. Okay, so we won't go into the morning routine because that's not really relevant to this video. But your nighttime routine, when you get ready for bed and sleep, should always be based on relax uh, relaxation, uh, self-reflection, and also making sure that you wind down and slowly reduce your exposure to blue light. So... And this can be done in a number of ways. You can download programs on your laptop. Called, there's a program called Flux, which helps strip out the blue light so that your the screen that you're actually watching doesn't have any blue light after a certain time. That really helps, and I've been using that for a number of years. But you still need some sort of routine, okay? You need to say if it hits six o'clock, maybe you'll have dinner. Then maybe seven o'clock, you'll start watching a film. You need to be not watching any screens sort of past half nine, 10 o'clock. And that includes checking your phone, okay? So try and get into the habit of making sure that for at least an hour, ideally two hours, before you actually try and go to sleep at night, that you're not watching any screens. You're not looking at your phone, you're not checking your laptop, you're not watching films. Maybe do some reading, maybe have a bath, do whatever it is that you like to do that relaxes you, but try and not watch screens right up until you go to sleep. And I know a lot of, a lot of people that like to you know, lay in bed and watch a film as they're falling asleep. And obviously that's the worst of all worlds because you're never going to get proper sleep in that case, okay? 
the last thing you see before you fall asleep is a glaring light shining right into your eye. So obviously you're not going to get restful sleep. And what you'll notice, by the way, is that after you've been doing this for a couple of weeks, after you've had this sort of nighttime routine and you've limited really your blue light exposure in the evenings, you'll sleep better. Okay, you'll feel better in the morning, you'll perform better at work, you know, you'll be more articulate in social situations. Everything will be better because sleep is a force multiplier. Okay, the better sleep you get, the better you perform at everything else. The more you recover, the, the faster you grow if you're building muscle, right? If you're trying to train for something, if you're trying to create something or achieve anything, it will all happen faster and easier if you get better sleep and higher quality sleep. So that's really it guys, that's the main sort of, that was the first main uh, way that you can improve your sleep. The second way, and I'm just gonna finish on this one because it's not as important as the first one, but it's still pretty important, okay? So the second one is to make yourself tired during the day. Don't just sit, because I mean, obviously in this day and age we have a fairly sedentary lifestyle, we sit in our chairs, maybe we'll sit in traffic to go to work, most of us, We'll sit in traffic to come back home and then we'll sit on the sofa and watch a film. We're just sitting, right? And, you know, I'm sitting right now, obviously, that's not great, but we're sitting a lot during the day and it's not good for us. We're not designed to be just sat in one place all day long. We're designed to be out and moving and running and exercising, right? So if you can't find the time to go to the gym every single day, then at least try and find the time to go for just one half an hour or one hour walk a day. It'll make such a huge difference and you'll feel and sleep better because your body will be tired, right? Even better is try and go and do a small amount of exercise or, or weight lifting every day, even if it's just low weights, but you know, high reps or even just a bit of cardio. Anything that will get your body moving and your heart rate rise, uh, risen, elevated, whatever. That will really help. Okay, and you can do that by just walking, you can do that by just really simple things, okay? Like if you're at work and someone has to like change the water on the water dispenser, offer to do that because then that's just a little bit more exercise, a little bit more movement that you're doing that will help you, you know, release energy during the day, keep your, metabol keep your metabolism high and make sure that when it comes to time to sleep at night, it's easier, okay, because you've exerted yourself. If you just sit down all day, you'll get lethargic and you, you'll find it really hard to go to sleep. Um, so really that's it guys, those are the two main ways you can improve your sleep, feel better and go to sleep faster.